What is up guys, it's Ulam here, and today we'll talk about dual leveling in Classic WoW. We haven't talked about this before, but now we have a lot more information about classes, and we actually had the ability to try them out in both a stress test and in a beta, so the results in this video will be based on that. First off, what is dual leveling? When we talk about dual leveling, we mean leveling as two people together. The reasons to do this are several, but mostly you have more survivability and difficult quests become more accessible if you have someone to help you with them. And if you're dual leveling, you won't have to team up with random people who may not know what to do. If you want a full list of pros and cons on dual leveling, I'll leave a link to my previous video on this subject since I talked in length about that on that video, and those pros and cons are still the same. Dual leveling gives you the ability to buff each other, making each other way more powerful than you would be on your own. A quick example of this is warriors and paladins who feel kinda slow and difficult to level on their own, but in a group they're actual savages. This is mostly because of the buff synergy between Blessing of Might and the Battle Shout stacking, so they can hit very hard from a very low level, making the leveling process feel a lot smoother. Plus the paladin can heal himself and a warrior, which makes them survive otherwise dangerous pulls. With that being said, in this video I will talk about my top 5 duo combinations from level 1 to 10, and my top 5 duo combinations from level 1 to 60. This is because some people might only use duo leveling to get ahead of the pack, then experience the game solo, or they might duo level all the way. So I decided to test out some combinations for both of those brackets, if you can call them brackets. It is worth mentioning that these combinations are based on who can level up fastest, so there are several factors that need to be considered like DPS, movement speed, gear, and when it comes to the level 1 to 10 bracket you'll need to factor in that the combination has to be able to start in the same starter zone. For example, Paladin and Druid wouldn't work because it would take too long to go from human starter zone to night elf starter zone, or vice versa, this eliminating the efficiency part of the leveling process, especially if you're watching this video before classic launches and you're looking for a combination to play at launch. So with that being said, let's get right into my top 5 level 1 to 10 duo combinations. Number 1 is the Warrior and the Paladin. I rank this the best level 1 to 10 duo combination because they have so strong buff synergy with the Battle Shout and the Blessing of Might, which stacks and increases your attack power by so much at early levels, making you able to kill mobs at a very fast rate. You both also have an edge because you're melee, since in a launch environment there will be a lot of fighting over mob tags, and melee will be able to tag mobs faster than ranged players who have to cast to tag, unless they tag from melee range as well. Number 2 is the Hunter and Hunter combination. This might sound like a bit of a bad combination in level 1 to 10, but if played correctly, it feels very very good and it feels very fast. The core gameplay is that you tag one mob each, and once your mob gets into melee range, you switch. This way, you will pretty much always use ranged attacks, and never use melee attacks, and hunters have very strong ranged attacks. You don't even need to use any abilities, which makes this combo so strong, because you can do this 24-7 and jump from mob to mob to mob. The only resource you have to watch is your health, while if you did this as a mage or a druid or any other caster, you would run out of mana pretty quick. Another reason why this combination is great is because they can kite mobs at maximum efficiency and kill mobs while moving, so they can effectively pull mobs while running from point A to point B to grind even more experience while running. Number 3 is the Warlock and Priest. This is the first caster combination that I, that I tried out myself on the stress test, and I have to tell you, this feels very good. As a warlock, you can sell your equipment and buy emulate at level 1, which is much better than Shadow Bolt. Complement that with Smite from the Priest, and you will burn through mobs very quickly. Once you get more damage over time abilities, you can start mixing and matching dots to find out how many dots and how many direct spells you need to cast on a target for it to die, and then you can start running to the next mob. For example, the Warlock casts Immolate plus Corruption on a mob, and then a Priest casts 1 or 2 Smites plus a Shadow Word Pain, then you just start running to the next mob, and in theory, the mob will die before it reaches you. The amount of dots and spells you need to cast will increase as you get to higher levels, but you get the point. Number 4 is Druid and Druid. 
This is a really strong combination from level 1 to 10 because of a couple different things. First off you have Moonfire or Tag Fire as I like to call it, and tagging mobs will be a huge part of leveling at launch because every mob and especially quest mobs will be highly contested. Secondly you both have access to the Thorns ability so you can have one of you act like a tank, pulling 3 to 4 mobs with Moonfire and having the Thorns buff on you, while the second druid also dots each mob with Moonfire while also using Wrath to kill the mob mobs and healing his friend when necessary. This combination just feels so good because you have one of you literally just pulling mobs with Moonfire while the other druid kills that target and you just keep doing that until you're both out of mana, at which point you just drink until you have full mana and you, you repeat the whole thing. Double druid can also kite mobs while moving from point A to point B, but not as efficiently as hunters since druids only have Moonfire as their instant cast. Other than that they have to stand still to cast damaging spells. Number 5 is the Rogue and Druid combination. This is a bit of an odd combination in my opinion, but the reason why this combination is good is pretty much because of tagging. Rogues get very fast and easy tags in melee range since they have a pretty high base attack speed, and they use two fast weapons instead of one big slow weapon. Granted from level 1 to 10 you will only be using one dagger, but that dagger still has a pretty fast attack speed. Druids are also very good taggers once they get their moonfire, so together this combination can effectively tag mobs in both melee and ranged at maximum efficiency. They don't really have any buff synergy other than the druid being able to cast Mark of the Wild and Thorns on the Rogue, but it still feels like a pretty fast combination because of the fast tags. Next up we're going to take a look at my top 5 level 1 to 16 duo combinations. Number 1 is the Hunter and Druid. This combination takes advantage of increased movement speed from an early level, plus if the druid goes feral, they both benefit from the same type of gear, which means they can target significant upgrades from quest rewards together. You also have the advantage of having a DPS, tank and healer in the same duo, with the hunter being the DPS, the hunter pet being the tank and the druid being the healer. Even though he will mostly play feral, he can still cast some heals when needed. You also have the added benefit of the druid being able to cast the thorns on the hunter pet, which will help you kill mobs faster. The biggest factor as to why I rate this duo the best duo for duo leveling is the movement speed increase. Since it can help you quest faster, move faster from point A to point B, and even get out of dangerous scenarios both in PvE and in PvP, it just gives you an edge when it comes to kiting and running away. It also feels like a very good combination since the Feral is basically a second, more overpowered hunter pet, so you as a hunter feel like you're running around with two pets and it just feels great. Number 2 is the Hunter and Hunter combination. This combination is really strong because of having two pets capable of tanking and dealing great damage. You are very gear independent so you rarely ever have to go out of your way to get a gear upgrade, and the only item you really need to care about is your bow, and since you're two hunters you can target certain quest rewards and dungeon quests to obtain strong bows or guns for a fast and good upgrade. You also have a significant movement speed increase, which is another reason, if not the biggest reason, why this combination ranks this high. Throughout the leveling process until you get your first mount, running around Azeroth will be a huge part of your journey, so having that movement speed increase just speeds everything up immensely. You can also pretty much solo, and especially duo, anything you want, including elite quests. So quests that might be difficult to other classes will be easier for you to complete, therefore giving you a better variety when it comes to which quest you can and can't do when leveling. You also don't need to use any mana, all you need is your pet attack and auto shot and you're good to go. Therefore you don't need any mana breaks and you basically just focus on leveling and killing things. Number 3 is the Warlock and Priest. Although this combination does not get any movement speed increase, their damage makes up for it. First off, they share the same win condition, which is damage over time. You can have so many dots up on the target which can help you when it comes to kill efficiency, since you can start moving to your next target when your current target is at roughly 30%, since the dots will finish it off. Also, even though they both use mana, you can take advantage of wanding, so you can cast your dots on the target first, then just start wanding it. Another benefit to this combination is that you have a tank, DPS and a healer in the same duo combination. The Warlock Voidwalker Demon can function as a tank, the Warlock can DPS and the Priest can be Shadow and cast some heals when needed. 
You also share the same armor and weapon type so you can target quest rewards and dungeon rewards for significant upgrades. Number 4 is the Mage and Mage. This is actually a pretty strong duo even for speed leveling. First off, they share the same gear slash weapon type, which means you can target quest rewards and dungeon rewards for significant upgrades. You're also both good at single target and AoE damage. You can pull a ton of enemies and use Blizzard to AoE them down, if you want to AoE grind for either experience or gold. Or you can use one mage to cast 2-3 frostballs on a target then kite away, while the other mage finishes off the target with frostballs, keeping it slowed all the time, and also being able to always use spells without the mob delaying your cast time. You also have constant access to food, drinks, and portals, which gives you a huge edge when it comes to moving from A to B. The ability to teleport is what ranks them this high, since if used correctly, it can be almost as effective as the Hunter, Druid, and Shaman movement speed increase. You also share cooldowns, since you're both the same class, so you can either both pop cooldowns at the same time to burn down a target really fast, or one of you can use cooldowns in one pull and the other one use cooldowns on the next pull, thus utilizing cooldown uptime. As a last point to this duo, I can talk a bit more about AoE grinding and why it can be quite useful. AoE grinding is mage's specialty, and since you're two mages, the options are pretty much endless. I also can't stress enough how much competition there will be for mobs in a launch environment. Just looking at beta and stress tests, you have to wait for mobs to respawn, and then there's a lot of people tank fighting each other, so having the option to go outside of a questing area and leveling by AoE grinding mobs might actually give you an edge in a launch environment. It all depends on whether or not you can get ahead of the pack so you can complete quests efficiently. Number 5 is the Warlock and Paladin combination. Because of the Paladin being able to cast Blessing of Wisdom on the Warlock, which makes the Warlock regenerate mana over time, plus the Warlock having access to life type, plus the Paladin being able to heal the Warlock, health and mana is not an issue in this duo, and the Warlock can go full mana dump 24-7 pushing his DPS to the max. Having the Paladin go with a Holy slash Protection spec can give you options when it comes to AoE pulling, as the Paladin can do some AoE damage with Consecration and etc. Another bonus of this duo is that you have a tank, healer and DPS in the same duo, with the Warlock Voidwalker being able to tank, Warlock can do insane DPS and the Paladin can both off tank, off heal and DPS. You both also get free mounts at level 40, so gold is not an issue. One final point is that the Warlock can create a health stone for each of you plus the Paladin can heal, therefore you have a ton of survival. The Warlock can also soul stone the Paladin and the Paladin can resurrect the Warlock, therefore you can save time by not running to your corpse. Time is insanely valuable when speed leveling so anything you can do to save time is a big bonus. As a final thing to say about all of these combinations is that you have the ability to start in the same starter zone, so you can effectively duo all the way from level 1 to level 60. So there it is, my remastered version of duo leveling, th this time with a focus on speed leveling and efficiency. I hope you learned something from this video and I hope you found it useful. If you liked it, please leave a like on the video as it really helps me out a lot. With that being said, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.